Warning, the following game is rated mature and contains content not suitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh boy, we're in a grave. We're in a graveyard. We must have reached the tower by now, right? I think so. What's this? It looks like a grave. I think the tower is just above us. I hope we can still get the drop on her. Let's look for a way up. All right, so the the underneath the tower are numerous bodies. That's lovely. Hopefully none of them come alive. This one's been desecrated. I'm not reading that thing yet. That was a free firebomb bottle. <laughs> now I have four of them. All right, let's read up. A eulogy for my brethren. We followed Master Alex to this island of that word. <laughs> which she has codenamed number 46. Her efforts have brought prosperity to the island, but more than that, we have come to help the master achieve her goal of rebirth. You have performed splendidly in your tasks, even in your final task, to provide the master with valuable data at the cost of your own lives. You are bonded in our servitude to the master. I consider you my colleagues and my friends. I will help the master to finish the work which we have all started. I promise that your sacrifices will not be in vain. May you rest in peace. So we know that she was trying to get... She was trying to get the ability to of immortality for Spencer, right? But then Spencer just went up and had a hand shoved through him like Yamcha. There you go, Wesker. No, oh, that uh, little to no trust. This chapter's going on for a long time. No powder I can make an explosive bottle. Do I have an extra bottle? I don't. I just I just used it. Hmm. Release our sworn comrades. If you wish to know the truth, swear your allegiance in order. Only then can you cast away your shackles of sin. To the first, you are always foolish, so you will have no grave. To the second, you shall bear your visage upon your back. To the third, you shall neighbor the fourth by three. But one row behind, to the fourth, you shall lose your head. Is that a riddle? For something. I feel like it's a riddle for something. That's a riddle for in here, isn't there? Here's the here's the one with no grave. It lights up. Okay. These are documents. To the second you shall bear your visage upon your back. So there must be something on the back of one of the graves. Ooh, thank you for that. Let's 
Probably over here. Yep. I'm afraid of what this is about to do. This is completely not needed. To the third, you shall neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind. To the fourth, you shall lose your head. So let's see. Hold on. The third is... By three, but one row behind. So the third is, in f is behind it. And then over by three. So I think we saw the one that lost its head is the broken one. But one row behind. So this one? I don't think that was correct. The third is by the fourth, but one row behind and over by three. One, two, three. Hmm. Well, there's another one that lost its head. Third, you shall neighbor the fourth by three, but one row behind the fourth, you shall lose your head. So it lost its head, one row behind, one, and it should be this one right here. It didn't sound correct though. Unless that means in front of it. That doesn't work out. Hmm. Okay. That's not... Oh, behind. Because from this way. No, because this is the back. I'm confused. Oh, boy. What's in there? Oh, hello. Hmm. We don't have a lot of magnum ammo, so maybe not that. I will take an assault rifle. We have a lot of parts. Rare par we still have this rare parts box. Sweet, we got a good weapon. That was worth it. That was a nice little puzzle that was completely optional. The Magnum, though. We might want that back. I'm not sure. Probably get rid of the handgun after this. If we can find a, you find a workbench. Let's get an explosive one. Oh, 
Well, there's the tower. It's also, I think, morning now. Oh, this is a boss fight room. First thing is check for shinies. Do these move? No, but they probably explode. Here's a place where we jump down. There's a greener boy over there. There's a door over there, and there's a door right behind me. I still feel like I haven't done the thing I'm supposed to do with, with Moira, so this it might be during the boss fight. Oh, God. How old is that body? We need to find... Oh, hello. Instructions for Stuart. Stuart, the samples have arrived from Africa. The infection rate is extraordinarily high. It has a lot of potential. I should have expected nothing less from a fellow Wesker. Get this to the research chief and have the staff start working on it immediately. It's only a matter of time before T. Phobos is completed. I have everything I need for the final stage of my plan. Okay, so this is... And it, so the things, the Ouroboros thing from six, or five. Five, they used. It doesn't look like he was ever transformed. Oh, hello, another thing. Steward's Valediction. Master Alex, it has truly been an honor and a blessing to have served under you these past few decades. I consider myself lucky to have been witness to your scientific genius and your vision of the future. The world is, does need order. I believe it is you and only you who is capable of accomplishing this feat. I, as well as the other researchers, are all bonded together in this belief. To ensure your survival, we have worked tirelessly to complete the transfer procedure. The vessel we have selected is without fault. I have every confidence the procedure will go flawlessly. To come this far, we've had to make countless sacrifices. The words are getting a little mixed up together. My faith in your vision is resolute, so I prepared myself to shoulder the mental and emotional burdens of the sins that I would be committing. But I do believe that before your plan can succeed, we for, must first atone for our sins. So I have taken the necessary steps for atonement. The remaining researchers have all been dealt with, and I, too, shall soon follow. This will also help you to perform the procedure without any distractions. On behalf of those who have served faithfully by your side, we are grateful for the opportunity to help you accomplish your ambitions. Eternally your loyal servant, Stuart. Ugh. Honestly, don't know if it's going to be worth it. I wonder if Alex looks like a monster during this portion. Like she did during, uh... Like she did during the berry sequence. I take advantage of this time right now to gather everything. I don't know where the trigger is going to be. Extra alcohol. I assume that door up there. That's the only other place I can think of.
It's not over there. That looks like it's an exit. But that needs to come down first. Normal cans of food. Still no sign of your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> All right. Shit. Look, there's something I gotta tell you. I noticed something when Neil was with us. His bracelet never changed color. I mean, the living dead were coming at us from all directions. He must have been scared. No, no, no. There's no way. Got it? End of discussion. Ah, see? Moira saw it too. She thinks Neil is sus as well. Good job, Mora. You sussed him out. Also, the the what is that up there? The uh, the old man that almost shot us in the face. You're like, you don't have a bracelet, and he was like, I'm not a girl or I'm not a woman. Uh, Gabe or Pedro weren't women either, and they did, they had bracelets. So I wonder what's up with that. Oh, there's a workbench, thank God. Well, there's a shiny there. Is there actually another door out of here? Oh, use use that as Claire. Okay. Capacity level two, charge shot level one. Ooh, that's the exact same thing that happened before in the previous game. We had a charge shot. I take these off. The charge shot was kind of funky, wasn't it? Gain the charge shot ability, hold on the trigger to increase firepower. Doesn't work on doesn't work on SMGs like this. Still have ammo for this. Does this get the charge shot? It does not. The shotgun does. Hmm. That means that a focus we do charge shot. Let's go with that. Ooh, just fill the whole thing up. Oh, hello. One last thing. It looks like as soon as we activate this... The machine pistol ammo just in case. It's a note. That's a note. Letter to my compatriots, my fellow visionaires. The time has finally come. Everything has gone as I said it would. All that remains is for her to hold up her end of the bargain. And then I can finish what we started seven years ago. But just one little sample is all I need to change the world. But the world is already changing. And not in a good way. The latest incident in Africa is just proof. This kind of madness will keep repeating itself until nothing is left but tragedy and despair. The world needs someone to take charge and lead it through these dark times. Lansdale was right, of course. What he tried to do in Terra Grigia. People call him a villain. Oh, evil beard face? But he's a hero. 
He was trying to save us. I understood that, as do you. I'm... I am will do whatever it takes oh, okay, to realize his vision. He was the only one to see that sacrifices were needed and that something good can be built on them. Even if it means dealing with the devil herself to do it. I feel like that was written by Sus Fisher. I don't know. That, has, that, had, a, that had the tone of someone that works at Terra Grigia. All right. This list. Neil had it at the party. Barton, Chavez, Redfield. It's got all our names on it. Oh, he sold Terra Safe out. Claire, I'm really sorry. Hey, look. Isolated the best candidate. Good work. Now it's your turn to fulfill your end of. What did you. Well, you wanted an Uroboros sample, now you've got it. Lapdog. You don't know shit about me. I know you were Lansdale's puppet. When Veltro incited the Terra Grigia panic seven years ago, the FBC was pulling the strings. The old man went down, but he was smart enough to pass the torch before he did. You played me! Because you're an idiot. You thought you could create a new terrorist threat to justify the FBC. A monster like you could never understand! Okay, yeah. Claire? Are you crying? No. I'm... I'm just learning to see a little more clearly. Oh, boy. Stuart. I put, to, I put together the list of Terra Save members who are most suited for this round of trials. They all have had experience dealing with bioterror and viruses. Their psyche veils came out with flying colors. They faced some unspeakable horrors and came out in one piece, indicating a strong resistance to emotional trauma. Number six hasn't directly in, hasn't been directly involved in any bioterror incidents, but her test results were promising, so I included her as well. All things considered, I think it's pr a pretty strong list of candidates. I'm sure you'd agree. It's all in your hands now. I'll be out there as backup in case you need anything. Number one, Fisher Neal. Number two, Redfield Claire. Number three, Chavez Gabriel. Well, they're all dead. Number all oh, except for Claire. And Fisher is currently being transformed thanks to the Ouroboros virus that just got to put him in. Number four, Foley, Gina. I think we saw her die in the first episode. Number five, Crossed Out. Don't know who that is. Number six, Moira Burton. Okay, so that's the unknown. Number seven, Pedro Fernandez. Well, he's dead. Number eight, Crossed Out. Number nine, Natalia Corda. That, oh, her last name's Corda, huh? Why was she in the list? I don't think she was there at the, at the terror save thing, was she? Number 11, Edward Thompson. He was the other guy that we saw dead in the forest. Hmm. So we've seen everyone on the list. We're the only two left other than Natalia and Sus Fisher. Oh, boy. I wonder what that could be. Neil? 
Leo! I did what I thought was right. It wasn't. Get away from me! There's no bringing the FBC back. I failed Blansdale! Ouroboros! It's not death! It's... power! Okay, Sus Fisher. Neil, I trusted you. Terrorists save people. It's in the goddamn name. Oh, I tried to dodge that. Okay, maybe we just have them charge into this stuff again. You better run. Is there a weak spot on him? Why is Roboros affected by sunlight right now? Oh boy, run. He hasn't exploded anything else recently. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh, I ran into fire. Okay, I think I hurt him in the face a little bit. Hey, you want to burn up again? Oh god, he's got an Ouroboros hand now. Okay, his weakness is fire. Ooh. I currently don't have a magnum. Oh boy. Oh, thank God, I dodged that. <laughs> Didn't dodge that time. Still on fire. I thought she pulled out her crossbow, a crossbow. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Hang in, ammo. Oh, God. Set him on fire again. Where'd he go? Oh, he's up there. As long as we're... You're casually walking. As long as we're underneath this pillar, he can't really jump on us from here. Not sure if he would. Okay, that was weird. Get behind this. Get behind this. Oh boy. So there's the one that's about to die. Oh, 
He's on fire. Where's he going? Where's he running? I need to follow him. I need to follow him. I need to follow him. It's not the time to do that. Well, darn it. That could have been better. Ow. Someone fire again. Ooh. That was a thing. The same actually doing this doesn't give us like ammo or something. I ran into the fire for some foolish reason. Moira? Oh, thank God I switched over to her. Oh boy. Over here. Where's she at? Okay. I love I love them both getting in the way. Oh god. Chase me, I dare you to. Boy. Dodge that. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. He still hasn't entered his third phase yet when he gets set on fire again. You have to, you really have to stay away from him, Moira. I don't know why they both want to separate. There's the Addies over there. Come on, Fisher. Got fire again. Where are you running to? Where are you running to? Okay, we might need to do that one more time before he's out of out of things. Oh, I, I love how I switched just so she can get hit. I don't think there's anything upstairs that explodes. Oh. Oh, we need to get, we need to get to safety. Where is she going? set him on fire now oh boy I think maybe the flashlight can the capability is to currently make fire oh boy let me take a look nope is 
Does she have anything to throw? She has a decoy bottle. That does seem like the smartest thing. Did I just kill her? Nope, she's still alive. Right, currently, there's no fire hazard stuff. Unless the lights are doing it right now. Oh, come on. Oh, that hurts. Let's just keep in the spotlights. Oh, not again. Oh, you're stuck. You're that's not good. How do I get her out? You need it. You need to leave. That was close. Okay, come on. You have to learn how to dodge. His heart's available. Oh. I just want this to be over. I, uh-oh. I don't know if I did what I needed to do. Now what? Claire's in here. We have her now. I don't think he's dead dead. That was usually the Usually did I do a cutscene? Apparently, this is our stop. Let's see what's outside. It's gonna be his face. I get this. How do I get this? Was it her? I know she has the. I know she has the button press. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing. Nothing will come between us now, my sweet. You and I will be good friends. We'll know each other inside and out. Uh, 
I hope that was the correct thing. I think that was the correct thing because I felt like, I don't know, it made me press the button. I just seeing the gun go towards her. Also, that's the first time she shot. And there were some weird scenes that were happening between there. I have to relook at them because I, I was kind of panicking and I wasn't really paying attention. A monster meal figure. Sploder figurine. Don't look at sploders. That was a record? I got a medal for that? Hold on, what medal did I get? Escape the factory. Escape the escaped the factory with only one minute left. Knocked down an enemy five times by blinding them with the light, then hitting them with a physical attack. I didn't I I haven't really been stunning enemies a lot. Created three enemies using the stealth attack. We probably could have done that. Created five recovery items by combining items. We didn't do that because we were usually <laughs> we were making weapons out of them. So I guess the other option would be to just when Claire's trying to grab at it, Claire shoots him. But I figured Moira had to do something because I was I was starting to get very very stressed that she hadn't done anything yet. I wonder if that's I wonder if that's been an option for other like button tapping sections where I could have switched to the other character. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to test that now. Like if the, if it happens again, try switching characters and see what happens. See if something else ha is different. The clear time though. Oof. It says two hours and four minutes, but I've been recording for almost three hours at this point. <laughs> I think we got th I think we got four episodes worth of episodes after this. Retries three. Yeah, it's because uh, Moira kept on dying in that shooty shoot section, and then the one time we died because everything exploded. <laughs> we have a lot of BP now. Let's see what should we afford. Uh, Increase firepower when less than 10% of ammo remains. That'd be very nice. I already have it once. <laughs> Claire and Barry become able to perform a follow-up. Where's the one where if they're in control... It's this one right here. Firepower will be low. I wish they would do that more often. Let's get this. So we have another ability. Which allows us to get this. Re reduce recovery time after evading. Five seconds after switching characters. I wonder if I could like exploit that. Like if I feel like shooting, just quickly switch. Like from Claire to Mora and then back and then Claire has that 10% bonus. Hmm. 100,000. Who? Same for that. I wonder if I could stack that. I don't know if my green herbs are not fully healing me, but whatever. We'll just do that. Get a new, get a new thing. All right. Did I still get a B ranking overall on that chapter? I did. All right, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I guess, I guess, can we technically play hers campaign now? No. I mean, I think. Yeah, we could. We could technically play Claire's side of the story now, but I think it's better to just do it in order like we have been doing. I mean, you have already released 12 episodes. <laughs> this is going to be... Oh, yeah, look at that clear time. Ugh. Yeah, see? We've been progressively getting longer and longer. Uh, hour 8, hour 20, hour 29, hour 37. Two hours and four minutes, and these are all just in-game, not during cutscenes. <sighs> well... I need to get things I need to get this edited for the week. That's gonna do it for these last bunch of episodes. Neil is dead, but I mean he betrayed us anyway, because he was totally sus Fisher. We called it from the moment we first saw him. Thank God that green thing, his green bracelet actually was a clue to the fact that he was supposed to be super sus. Uh 
And he was just, he was, he was Evil Beard Face's protege. That's nice. Callbacks to Revelations 1. Hooray. But. And we did it with Moira too, which I think is the good thing. So maybe we, maybe we're, maybe we're set for now. Let, we'll see. I don't know if there's any other decisions we have to make. That was the only one that I, I was told to keep track of. As these episodes come out, maybe I'll, maybe I'll double check quickly. Uh, but on the next episode of Resident Evil Revelations 2 Blind, we'll head to Barry's section of Chapter 3. See what, uh, see how we're going to get out of the fact that we're dealing with, uh, Alex Wesker and she's in like a goblin form, not in her normal adult form. So something obviously happened in between when she was when she had Natalia with Claire and Moira and this. Hmm. So, until next time. Hopefully you enjoy.